evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, this episode's gonna be a little bit different. A lot of my lumber has been building stuff lately, and the last episode was on Sunday. So here we are, Thursday, and you guys, like, I, I don't know what to do, because I've been trying to make four videos per day, and that didn't work. You guys complained that there was too many videos at one time, you weren't able to keep up. So I spanned it out over Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I released one video a piece, trying to just do do a thing. And on Saturday and Sunday, I just did one lumber, one lumber, and you guys didn't like that. So uh, I guess I don't know. I don't know what you guys want. Like I need to know. So leave me a comment in this this thing down below. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, burped right in the microphone. <clears throat> Burp. Um, let me know what it is that you guys want to see. Whoa, my head's chopped off. What in the world? Hold on. Oh, that's too high. That's, that's going past the green screen, and I'm off to the, uh, no, that side. There, there we go, there we go, all right. I think I'm centered, maybe. There, there we go, there. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, well, it works. But I need to know. Oh, and let's also get this video to 10 billion likes. Because that's apparently a thing of calling out in the beginning of the video. And just so you know, I'm okay if you want to like or dislike the video or not like it at all. Like, it's, it's like, like, uh, like, like, uh, it's, it's okay. I've been seeing a lot more videos popping up again where people are like, subscribe and like at the very beginning. And that seems to be a thing where you're asking for likes and subs before you even do anything on a video. So if this is your first video that you've ever seen on my channel, oh my gosh, don't, don't stop here. All right. Check out the rest of the channel. See if you like it. And I'm, I'm the kind of person that's like try before you buy person. So like go and check out the other videos. See that it's not just lumber that I do that my channel didn't start as a lumber channel, but I seem to be like now the the all-time favorite of lumber uh and it's not i'm not the all-time favorite like <sighs> sorry there's a lot of chaos going on at the moment anyhow <clears throat> this episode what i wanted to do can i sign your base yes yes i will sign your base um i wanted to do is explain this board all right this this little this beauty right here okay so um a lot of you might not know all of the different things that this has gone through, but I mean, there has been little bulletins here and like RIP and then the end is near, the end is near, stuff like that. So what do all these mean? <clears throat> bulletin, 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 with a capital B and then two little Bs. What does this mean? Well, I think this was just kind of a troll at the very beginning or kind of a test at the very beginning where he was putting something up on it and then saw meal that saw meal that's just a like a painted drawing that he like scanned and then uploaded um there I, I don't know if this was written by somebody or if he did it himself huh rip has been there for a while um that was during one of the halloween events uh rest in peace rip uh and then this thing over here here once lay a simple jest it mocked a condition that still does exist but the powers above were not amused. Aye, this here is clearly no ruse. It, uh, see, it's per perpetuating harmful abuse. And with that joke was laid to rest. And with that, the joke was laid to rest. So what used to be here was idea, sell intern secrets for Robux or for cash, all right? And what that means is, Defaultio was inside the intern program for a while uh, and became like one of the really good developers where you actually go to Roblox headquarters and everything else. And that's what he had down here. It was a joke. Uh, I think Saranok and Merrily may have been in it at the same time. I don't know how they tie in, but Saranok and Merrily are uh, two of the characters inside the, the bridge, the toll bridge. Um, they are actual developers of other games and things, so I don't know how they tied in, but 
they are real people. And then the, the guy that's under the bridge, the troll, all right, he was an actual like troll person who would troll players and he would create games simply to troll the players. Um, next up, really red is the new red. What that is referring to is inside the game. Is this new? See, everybody's asked that. Like, no, this is not new. Uh, really red is the new red. Whenever you select a brick part inside studio, right, you can change its color. Oh my gosh, I never noticed that there was a square pattern on his floor. What? Do you guys see that? There's like a, I don't know if you can see it on camera. There's a grid pattern on the floor. That is amazing. Tom, did you remodel? <laughs> no, goodness me. That's been there for a while. I need to pull it all up and put in wood. Because <laughs> it's a wood store. That... <laughs> Uh, I think your paneling might need an upgrade as well. <laughs> oh, true, true. Um, anyhow, that's what this re means. Really red is the new red. So it used to be just red and blue and green. Now it's like midnight black and and forest green and really red. So that's that's what that is a reference to. I don't know why he made it purple, by the way. Purple sign that says red with white text. Uh, the bird right here refers to the smuggler's den. That is part of the, the whole um, finding the, the things to get the rookie axe over there in the winter biome. Oh, hi. And that's what this is in reference to. It's the symbol of the smugglers or whatnot. Um, Saranok prefers ice cream to all other Saranok. Saranok, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on, I need to, I need to go get a car. Because we are going to have to do a little bit of traveling. Dude, are you totally stealing some of my wood? Oh no, he's dropping off gifts. Oh, sweetheart. That's awesome. Hey, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was going for a lovely walk here. And just enjoying the weather. Because it's a beautiful morning here in Lumberland. <clears throat> I am a code boy from Lumberland. Always hanging out with default dial. And when we're bored, we'll play in the cave. <clears throat> Sorry, what? I could stare for hours at that blue haze. Chop, chop, code boy. They say to me... I'm, I'm just singing because I'm bored and I didn't have any dialogue to actually think of right there. By the way, could you guys imagine if I, like, scripted my, uh, my... Not, like, program script, but, like, wrote out what I was going to do each episode? Oh, gosh, I'm, I would go crazy just trying to figure out what to say. <clears throat> Yay, my first steps on Coat's base. There's only one of them, too, dude. I've got, I've got a couple of them. Here, uh, do I have, I don't have any kind of trailer or anything to jump in. Sorry, dude. All right. So it's Saranok enjoys ice cream. <clears throat> I know that the light bulb is supposed to be ice cream. Is this Saranok over here? Because I thought Saranok was one of the smugglers in the dip. That is Saranok. So who is that that I give the ice cream to all the time? When doing the uh, the other thing. Oh, we're we're not going across, guys. We're not. I'm just checking stuff out. I'm explaining the billboard. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh dear me! I did a horrible parking job. Tom. Yes, sir. You need a parking lot right here, and then a, a side door. That would be amazing. A side door, parking lot action, maybe some valet. <laughs> you silly code. <laughs> Alright, uh, next up. All that glitters is gold. <clears throat> okay, a lot of you may or may not know the reference that is this is to, but if anybody has ever watched Shrek, okay, uh, there is a song in there that says, All that glitters is gold. 
only superstars break the mold or something like that all right it's uh it's the song hey now you're an all-star get your game on go play so that is, is a reference to shrek which refers to a ogre or an, yeah ogre who lives in a swamp gold swamp gold swamp gold trees in the swamp I don't know if that's an actual reference but that's how I interpreted it whenever I first saw it so also make sure to like keep an eye on this board whenever he does like really really elaborate updates <clears throat> what I mean are puzzles and things of that nature that's usually when he does these uh, and you'll get a post up here of some kind all right now that I've explained the board I'll show you where the the signs are for all the clues there's one right back here rumors about Zalarik <clears throat> is too kind not to offer other people the restroom before him even if he really has to go also eats sand sand right there bag of sand so, uh, the next clue clue Mary Lou why I can't lift that there we go the next clue Susie Q is up here. Noink. And these these are all old. Like people have reported on these all the time, but for somebody that's new to the channel. Rumors about <coughs> eats light bulbs also has a thing for ducks, secretly jealous of Gooseman and his ducks. We recently had ducks added. No, I still haven't found any correlation between the rubber duck that we have and Guzmonuk. Manek. But, yes, yes. Gaze upon the clue that I have discovered and shown to you now. <laughs> Just kidding. It's totally, it's totally fine. It's, it's good. Okay. The last one. Wee. Oh, I, wee. The last one. Sorry, copyright. <laughs> I probably probably won't get it. Sorry. Hopefully. No, I can't. Next one is right over here. Hey, buddy. So the way that you're supposed to do this is like you're supposed to turn your camera so it's just going through here like that and then zoom out and then there it is over there. Rumors about Goose Manic. Eats dirt, eats worms, eats drywall, licks statue, steals. So, if you jump in here like this and you do the little boink glitch thing like that. Hi, bodies. Oh, how did you do it through that side? That was actually pretty, pretty cool. Hold on. Can I do that through this side? How did you, how did you do this, uh, the side glitch thing? That was crazy. Anyhow, <clears throat> there's the rumors about Guthmanic. And like I said, these have all been discovered before. I've shown these to you guys, but if, for anybody who's new to Lumber Tycoon 2 and you're looking for you know, an adventure to go on, there's your clues. Uh, I can tell you where to get the things. Oh gosh, hold on, I did not do that correctly. Boink, oh no, no, it's still messed, messed up. Let's try this side, boink, and there we go. <clears throat> By the way, what I'm doing is called a a, uh, a wall glitch just so you know that's uh it can only be done with the r8 figurine r8 avatar and what does r8 mean rig eight that means i have eight body parts i have one two legs one two arms uh, hands are not included one torso one head so that's one two three four five six oh that's that's only six is it R6? It might be R6. Oh, take out an axe, coach. You got it, buddy. Here you go, keg. <laughs> Dude, are you trying to hand that to me? Poor gamer. Gamers. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I, I guess I should probably take a picture, too. There we go. 
Print screen. Print screen. Oh, dude, did you get in there and now you can't get out? Oh, poor guy. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're at 15 minutes. This is way longer than I was planning. About five minutes over. Gotta, gotta do just 10 minutes so, you know, I can put that monetization in there. You know, get that, that cash money moolah. I'm just kidding. I, I monetize my videos, but it's usually automatic. It usually just chooses for me. The only time that I ever go in there and manually put things in is whenever it's like 45 minutes and YouTube's like, Oh, I'm just going to put one ad in there for you. What? What 45 minute episode of anything has ever had just one advertisement? saying oh my goodness what is this what was this here earlier this may have been here i don't remember <laughs> oh that's bad okay well thank you everyone for watching this episode of lumber tycoon 2 with me he has been code primate as i explain the billboard and the signs around the things i want to do some more videos where it's just me explaining a certain area kind of letting you know the knowledge that i know about things um is that something that you would enjoy? Do you want to see me build? Would you like me to go long planking? I need to know. I, I need some feedback. I've been feeling really down and self-conscious about my videos lately just because of like how things are going and everything else. And I don't want to sound whiny because you know I'm, I'm an adult and you're not supposed to feel insecure. You're supposed to have all the answers as an adult. Kids, let me tell you. No adults, no matter how hard you look at them and you're like, oh man, you've got everything together. You know exactly when my, my food time is, when the schedule of the football or soccer is. Trust me, <clears throat> we may look like we've got it together, but all of us are walking around going, oh gosh, what to do next? I promise. Like, like it doesn't change as you get older. You just find better ways of hiding like, oh, yes, uh, this is the... Um, statue of Mona Lisa. Not, Mona Lisa's not a statue, Code. What are you doing? Of course it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty positive that's where I saw it last time. So, it's, it really is, it is a thing that happens as you grow up and grow older. And don't take that the wrong way. But still go and talk to your parents and ask them knowledge as much as you can. Grandparents. Oh gosh, and you might be like, oh man, grandpa's old and he smells funny. That is, don't say that, okay? It might be true, but you don't say that directly to him because it makes him feel bad. And then <clears throat> you need to ask him knowledge. Like, what was your grandpa's first car? If your grandpa's still alive. That's that's another thing, and I won't get into that detail. Um, none of my grandparents are alive, by the way, because I'm older. I mean, hmm. Well, that conversation went to the wrong direction. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end like an amazing, awesome, cool YouTuber, but I'm just an adult who plays video games. I love you guys. I, I love doing this. I love programming. I think I want to get back into the programming thing, but I want to wait until my book comes out. If, you, if you've been here waiting for me to do some more tutorials on Roblox Lua, all right, that's coming. I promise it will be here, but I don't want to jump the gun before that book comes out, all right? Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Outro. I totally just realized that was not the outro at all. That was that was the intro and I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> all right. Let's try again. All right? Ready? Outro.